Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark, and we're back with another wine video. In today's video, we're gonna be featuring a special wine. We've already featured wine from across the world. So now, we're featuring something that's close to home, and this is wine from the Philippines. So this wine comes from the Bicol region, from the province of Camarines Sur, and it's actually wine that's made out of baligang. What is baligang? I actually had to look this up. In English, baligang is said to be lipote or lipoti. I'm not really sure. Well, it's hard to find any more information about baligang because this fruit is said to be only available in the Philippines. Now, from my research, it's said that baligang is actually quite close to the duhat fruit. Duhat fruit, translated into English, is said to be java plum. So looking at it, it actually looks like quite similar to grapes. A bit of that dryness of duhat, I think. I actually haven't tried this before. And fortunately, I got this as a gift over the holidays. Unfortunately, it's still not a sponsored video. <laughs> but I am thankful for receiving this gift. So the brand of this bottle is Alden Therese. It's a sweet bread. And its alcohol percentage is at 9.49%. I usually drink something that's along the lines of 12%. But this being under 10%, I'm gonna expect just a little buzz from this. What's impressed me so far about this bottle is the packaging. I mean, the bottle that they use is something that you could export globally. It's something straight out of Napa or the best vineyards in France. The label is actually quite neat also. And thus, I'm excited to try this. All right, so let's get it open. Oh, that was a little hard to open, but... A little oaky, but not the oak that we would find in foreign wines. And let's pour ourselves a glass now. So what are my expectations about this wine? You know what, to be honest, I don't expect this wine to blow me away as I don't expect this wine to be competing with the world's best wines. This would be a casual drink, probably made by people who are passionate about wine. But given the tropical climate that we have here in the Philippines, we don't exactly have the same terroir or the conditions that would cultivate and grow the best grapes in the world. I'm expecting this wine to be something that probably we can be proud of as Filipinos but realistically speaking definitely not something that would be assessed and criticized by the world's best sommeliers and masters of wine. So if they're not gonna do it, that leaves me to do it. Someone who just loves wine but has no credentials whatsoever. On the nose, it's a little vinegary to be honest. So it's a little similar to sugarcane vinegar that I smell from the Ilocos region. Of course, it's not anywhere that sour or that strong. It's actually quite mild. Visually, you see that's a little brown, a little bit burgundy, and it doesn't have the thick texture of typical wines made from grapes abroad. It's a little planty, it's a little green. All right, so enough assessing and Let's just go in and enjoy this drink. Hmm. So in terms of flavor, I think a lot of people might actually like this. Since it's a sweet wine, in my opinion, I think this is actually how grape wines it would taste on the first press. So it's actually quite juicy. It hasn't really developed um, complex flavors yet. But I'm actually curious if these guys actually are able to age the wine longer and really maybe use different aging barrels such as oak, maybe it would add a little depth to the flavor. For me, it's still on the juicier side. Again, probably how grapes would be before they fully turn into very alcoholic wine. I think in the same way that the texture has shown that it's not a very thick wine. It's actually a little watered down. So, so I guess visually and in terms of taste, I think they are aligned. It's a little bit like watered down honey. Unlike traditional wines made from grapes, it doesn't have a tannic texture, but that sandpapery texture of Duhat, if you know what I'm saying, it's a little grippy on the palate, but not in a tannic way. So that's interesting because usually 
grippy would equal to tannin but this one it's more of the fruits texture that's actually shining through so what do i think about this wine i think this wine is something that we filipinos can try probably might not be competing in a global scale it could try out a few niches in trying to export it i think it's worth trying i applaud these guys for really putting it out there and making do with what our tropical climate has to offer in terms of coming up with wine that of course is sort of a workaround to the traditional grapes that would typically be used in making wine so have you guys tried this wine have you guys liked it let me know in the comment section i'll also include links in lazada where you can buy this now if you've liked this video please don't forget to like comment and consider subscribing if you haven't already, thanks again for watching guys and cheers! Happy drinking!